Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to work with the register page. So let's open the terminal and here first I'm going to CD in the Laravel project. So CD in the Laravel dash breeze dash API. And I'm going to run the server. So artisan serve. And now we have the URL here. Okay. Then in the new terminal, open the Vue.js project. So CD in the view out, sorry, view uh, breeze API. And here let's open the project with VS code first. Okay. And uh, let's run now the NPM run dev. Very good. Open the localhost 3000. And I'm going to open also the localhost 8000 here. Very good. Now, when we go to the register, first I'm going to add the name and also the password confirmation. So let's close this, open the register view. And uh, we have input for the password. And let's duplicate this. So copy and paste it down there. And this one is going to be for the password confirmation. Like this. Type password. OK. And when we have for the email, I'm going to copy and add one more for the name. So first it's going to be the name and also the, sorry, this is second one is going to be the email and the first one is going to be the name. And for this one, I'm going to say type to be email like this. And let's save. Yeah, we have the name and I'm going to zoom it out a little bit. Yeah, now we are okay. So we have name, email, password and password confirmation. This is what we need for our backend. Uh, first, we need to import the ref. Also, we need to import the Axios to make a post request and the use router so when we logged in we are going to go back to the home page so import the ref from view and also import axios from axios and the last one is import the use router from view router and i'm going to create a constant for the router to be equal with the use router so we create the instance of the router then i'm going to create a constant form equal with ref with an object which we have a name as an empty string the email as an empty string we have the password as an empty string and also the password confirmation password confirmation as an empty string okay now let's go and add the v model one by one so here we have our name after the placeholder i'm going to say v model form dot name and then after the placeholder for email add the v model form dot email okay after the password placeholder add the v model form dot password and then the last one is the password confirmation v model password sorry form first form dot password confirmation okay 
Now we need also to create the method to send a post request. So here on the form, say on submit, uh, let's say handle register and let's copy this and add the dot prevent here very good then come up here and say create a constant with that name which is going to be equal with an async function and we have imported the axios now let's say await axios dot post and we need the post dot the slash register this is the url and we need to add the data which is the name it's going to point to form dot name form dot value dot name and for the email is going to be the form dot value dot email and password form dot value dot password and the last one is the password confirmation form dot value dot password confirmation like this then after we logged in uh, after we register i'm going to say router dot push and push this the home page we are okay i think now let's go and test this so here refresh inspect the element go to the console or go to the network first and let's test this let's say a test user with a test at test dot com add the password here and say register and as you can see we redirected back and we have the user here test and the test at test dot com so we have a success register and back in the home page we have also the success to get the to get the user we make the register and see you in the next one all the best